I love giant monsters, and they've been really big nowadays. Well, yes, they're literally big, but I'm talking about all the kaiju films coming out. The concept of giant monsters fighting each other is one that's been tried by many in video game form. But does the 90s arcade game King of the Monsters do a good job? Let's take a look, because it's time for Rad vs. Bad. <laughs> the monsters are sweet. You got Godzilla, Ultraman, King Kong, Hedora, Megalon, and my favorite kaiju, Rocky Balboa. Jokes aside, I do love these monster designs. Speaking of designs, check out these stages. They're packed with tons of destructible sprites, power-ups, and military interferences. The game takes an interesting approach with gameplay, because it's a hybrid of a beat-em-up and fighting game. That said, this allows you to play with a friend against each other, or cooperatively against two AI enemies. Let's talk about some of the mechanics. Each kaiju has plenty of unique throws, special moves they can charge when holding two buttons, and your more traditional beat-em-up moves like punches, kicks, and running attacks. Seeing the variety of crazy moves the kaiju have is always fun. So to win a match, you have to pin the enemy kaiju WWE style. When they're down, you push A and jump on them. If you're pinned, the game tells you to mash buttons, but frankly, I didn't notice different results from mashing fast or mashing slow. You can also collect these little power-ups. If you get enough, you transform into a cooler version of your kaiju. Basically, the colors are changed, and you get more special moves. Another fun aspect of the gameplay is the fact that you can really interact with the environment. Not only can you destroy all the buildings, but you can even grab some tanks and some planes and throw them at the enemy. This is really fun to see. Bird. As much as I love kaiju, there are some problems with this game I couldn't ignore. Here's the biggest issue with the game, the grappling mechanics. No matter what I've read online, or in the game manual itself, I couldn't figure out how to get the grappling advantage. Grappling's the most important mechanic in this game if you want to win, and I was annoyed because whether or not I got to grapple felt random. Then I realized, it is random. After lots of experimenting in two-player mode, it was revealed to me that the kaiju who gets to grapple is based on chance. I've approached at every angle, been approached in every way, yet still there's no consistency. Sometimes if your enemy has the advantage, you can reverse his grapple to your advantage. However, this also happens at random. Maybe more likely if you mash buttons, but it doesn't fix the glaring issue. Most damage will be done from grappling moves, so frankly a large portion of this game is based on luck. Let's get back to the fact that this game is a hybrid of a beat-em-up and a fighter. It's ambitious, but when the goal in the end is to fight 1v1 with another kaiju, the combat mechanics are much more focused and important. You can move left, right, up, and down. It plays like a beat-em-up at heart. The thing is, your special moves become much less significant when they can be avoided very easily by just moving up or down. Punching and kicking is simple. If you get the first punch on a kaiju, they better run, because if you keep trading, you'll knock them down. Which reminds me, there's no block button. So the combat is really a mix of footsies and grappling. On the surface, King of the Monsters is very appealing. It's an amazing tribute to the kaiju genre, right? Well, sadly, it fails mechanically. Visually, it's super fun to watch. The environments are bursting with life, the music fits the vibe, and it's got some awesome monster designs. But there were definitely some better decisions that could have been made for the combat. For example, having a block and grab button, and grabbing while the enemy's blocking could give you the grappler's advantage. In the end, there are still elements in this game I can appreciate as a kaiju fan, and anybody can appreciate the sweet stages and character designs, but the gameplay itself drags the rest of the game down drastically. So in the end, I gotta say, King of the Monsters is BIRD.